I'm Laszlo Byro, and I invented something almost everyone in the world has today, and it's not an iPhone. If you're at school, you'll be using something that seems so normal, you won't even realise that someone had to invent it. And that was me. Before I invented the Biro, we all wrote with fountain pens. And before that, it was feather quills, which were splodgy and messy. Now, it couldn't be any easier. So let me tell you my story. I'm from Budapest, in Hungary. I loved writing at school, so when I left, I became a journalist. Lots of writing in that job. I was also into painting, art, sculpture, that kind of stuff. And I was curious about things, how stuff works, and what's inside everyday objects. I loved taking things apart in my workshop and finding out how they fit together. My brother Georgi is a chemist, which is kind of handy, as he is brilliant at experimenting and inventing as well. Soon I got a job at a newspaper as a journalist writing news stories, but it was a messy job. Loads of paper everywhere, thick black ink, leaking fountain pens, printing presses, and lots of noise. I couldn't help noticing that, unlike the ink in my pen, the newspaper ink dried very quickly and it didn't smudge. Hmm, I wondered. That's interesting. One day, I was fiddling around with some ball bearings at my desk and when I accidentally knocked over my ink pot, the ball bearings rolled through the ink and traced a nice clean line on the paper. Aha! I could be onto something here. So I got together with my brother Georgi in our workshop and we started experimenting with ink, with ball bearings and paper, trying to make a totally new sort of pen. Instead of a nib, like in an ordinary fountain pen, we used a titchy, tiny steel ball called a ball bearing at the end of a hollow pen. And we filled the pen with ink. Not too runny or it dribbles, not too thick or it gets stuck but just the right consistency, and the little ball gets covered in ink. After a lot of fiddling around, we finally got it right. A bit leaky at first, but our new ballpoint pen was a whole lot better than those old-fashioned fountain pens. When Hungary, our country, was invaded by the Nazis in the Second World War, we all escaped to safety in Argentina. Then we started telling people about our fantastic newfangled pen invention. Who was interested? Well, our first and most gigantic customer was the Royal Air Force. For them, our little biro was a fabulously important invention during the Second World War. Why? Because their pilots had to fill in logbooks while they were flying, and at high altitude, ink pens splattered and leaked everywhere. With our little pen, the pilots could log their flight details easily without making a big mess. Since then, my biro has become a massive success. Over a hundred billion pens have been sold and it's the most popular pen around the world. Every year in Argentina, they celebrate Inventor's Day on my birthday, October the 14th. So the good news is I haven't been forgotten and if you use a biro today, then think of me.